Hello everyone, this is Dr. Saud Anwar. I'm a lung doctor and a critical care doctor. I wanted to give this message to our community members who work in shelters. Uh, first, I want to thank you for the work that you do. And um, I know you have concerns and I have concerns about COVID-19 at this time. And I wanna talk about how one can do smart things to protect themselves. Um, today is the 24th of March. And at this time, it is fair to assume that uh, there is community transmission happening. And the fact that we don't have the tests as easily available, it is also fair to assume that there are people who may have it all around us and also in the shelters. So we need to make sure that the people in the shelters have a safe distance and the workers also have a safe distance. So I wanna talk about that right now. And these are some of the things that one can do. First of all, I think the risk is going to be uh, in the same ballpark as uh, that is out in the community, because even when you're in the community, you need to realize that you have to assume that people around you may have infection with the COVID, with the coronavirus. Um, one thing that I would do and what I would say to my family and my friends is going to be as follows. So when you go into uh, the shelter area, you need to wash your hands before you enter. So you make sure you're not bringing anything inside there. Um, and washing the hands, you know the technique. It's a, a minimum 20 seconds when you wash your hands. The part in the, the back over here is not well clean that the fingertips are not as clearly cleaned so you need to actually make sure these areas the fingertips the thumb are, are all well cleaned when you are wa wa washing your hands if you have purell inside make sure you use the purell as well when you go in so at least when you're touching something you're not giving it or leaving it on the surface the second part is that it's a good idea to actually have a mask. Now, the masks are, are something that is important. People are talking about this. The regular mask is a very reasonable option at this time if you are not doing a medical procedure and you're not doing a high-risk procedure on a person. So this is the regular mask that we have. You need to cover yourself up with this mask in a manner. This is not the N95 mask. The N95 masks are somewhat different they are actually more when a, a medical health provider is doing a procedure which causes aerosolization of the virus and they are doing because of the type of the procedure they're doing in a very close proximity to an individual so that's a different kind of a mask but that's not what you would require because you will require a droplet precaution at that time because you're not aerosolizing the virus around you unless you have somebody who is coughing and sneezing around you. And I'm going to talk about that too in a second. So as you are actually putting that mask on yourself, you're protecting yourself uh, from the mask. And then along with that, you should have at least a six foot distance between you and anyone else. Even your co-workers is what I'm going to say, is that they have to be six feet away from you. If somebody is coughing and sneezing, you have to be farther away from them, at least 10 feet away to, to, to be on the safe side. So when you actually are going to touch any surface anywhere, uh, this is going to be the time you should actually make sure you have the Purell and you wash your hands. And the mask, another thing the mask do is that when you have a mask on, you actually, without realizing, we touch our nose or our mouth without even realizing it. So when you have the mask on, you are actually reminded that you should not touch the, the, the face area. So having that protection is a good idea. Washing your hands is a good idea. Staying the distance is, is very important, about uh, six feet or so. And then when you leave the place, you want to make sure that you're covering your, you're, you're washing your hands again. You're actually taking care of the protection. And at that time, you actually get rid of the mask. And next time you come in, the next day you bring another mask or have another mask. So I think those are some of the parts that are worthy to, uh, you have to keep yourself protected at this point time. Um, I know you will have some questions. I would love for you to write those questions. I will work uh, with all of you. You're doing some very important work at this time uh, to protect uh, the community, the most vulnerable people. And, and this is uh, uh, at the most vulnerable time in the recent history for the most vulnerable people in our community. You are the, the lifeline for them. So I cannot thank you enough as, as a a citizen of the, st the state of Connecticut. And thank you so much. If you have questions, write to me.